Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you um, a plugin, a very useful plugin called uh, AutoCode. You could actually see it was created by me, but it is a very, very helpful plugin. Uh, so let me show you what it does. So I'm just going to quickly add a script into Starter GUI and uh, let me show you how this works. Let's say I want to get a player variable, right? So I, of course, need to type local player with the game dot players dot local player. Um, and that could take a few seconds to do. With autocode, all you have to do is type slash slash player, and it automatically replaces that line with the player variable. You could even type stuff like slash PLR, and that'll even do it. So instead of typing slash uh, slash slash player, by the way, if I say slash, I mean slash slash. It's just annoying to say that. Um, but yeah, if you type slash player, it's not going to work. You have to do two slashes. Now, this doesn't only work with the player variable this can work with many other preset codes so for example let's say i want to get the humanoid root part i can type slash player right uh get the player variable I type slash character get the character and i can type slash root and get the humanoid root part now i did this pretty slowly because i'm talking explaining but i could create this in a matter of seconds um usually you'd have to type it all out and that could take some time it's also helpful for certain variables you don't remember or if you use them a lot and you don't want to type them out so for example let's say i want to repeat wait function right so i want to repeat wait until um because i want to check if something is loading i could type slash rep uh, and it automatically completes it now let me show you all the commands so if you type slash help or even if you type slash info let me just show you that so slash info it'll bring up this menu over here so I'm not going to read this out because this entire video is explaining the, the plugin. But uh, if you didn't watch the video, this is, I guess, how do you learn? Now let's go over to commands. So over here, you can see a list of all the commands, right? So there aren't a lot right now. There will be more added and you can, of course, add your own commands. So I already have a few custom commands in here. For example, AB, that's not a real command. It's, um, it's just there because I was testing something um, when I was creating the plugin. I was testing if this works uh, adding commands so I can reset over here but I just haven't done that anyways moving back to these you could see we have all these different commands so let's say I want to get uh, a tween service variable I could type slash tween or slash humanoid uh, I could type slash uh, part if you type your variables usually in a different way so instead of tween service you usually do like a uh, tween right uh, you can just edit it over here right so here is the uh, outcome of the command here you can see commands output and then here is the command name so i just changed this to uh tween now if i press save and now i type tween there you go so now it's instead of tween service it's just tween so now uh let's open the menu again um let's say i want to add a new command right over here there's a little button that says add command it's a little hard to see i'll uh i'll try to update that but you click it and now you have a new command let's say i want to make this um gy right and it will create a screen gy so i can type uh instance or let's do local screen gy is equal to instance dot new uh screen gy you can even type the script in here uh like this and then just copy it into there but whatever uh and now i'm going to press save right so save you can see it says saving and output and then uh, if i type gy there we go now going back to the menu you'll see over here uh, there was a settings tab. Uh, so here there is the command prefix, which is currently not done, um, but there will be, it will be scripted and there will be many other settings. Um, also going back to commands, this page is going to be remade with a lot more info. So next to every single command, there's going to be a little like arrow or something, which if you click on it, it'll expand and give you more info, like a command description that you can also edit, a delete option, and even variations of the command. As you see over here, it says PLR, which again does the player command uh, variable, but you can also type slash player for the variable. Um, but you can see over here, there's no slash player then of course if you want to reset your commands it'll uh you click here it'll ask for a confirmation and then uh, it'll reset i'm just not going to do that right now now let me show you how to enable the plugin because if you download it right now it's not going to work because over here if you go to the home you'll see a warning over here it says uh to get autocode to work you have to enable script editor api you can do that by pressing file beta features find script editor api and enable it and then restart studio so let me show you how you do that 
So let me close this menu and the script. So now uh, if you go to the top left to studio where it says file, click there, then all the way on the bottom, third from the bottom, you'll see beta features. So click on that. Then this menu will open up um, and then just scroll down until you find um, script editor API. Here you go. So once you get down to script editor API, um, yours is not going to be enabled or it might be, but uh, just enable it, press save. And then uh, I think you might need to restart studio. But then once you go here, uh, just enable it, right? And then it's working. So again, to open the menu, go in a script and type slash help or slash info. Again, when I say slash, I mean slash slash, not just one uh, slash help isn't going to work. You need to do slash slash. Anyways, I hope this uh, plugin helps you. Please comment uh, some command ideas if you want me to add them. Also, if this helps you, please subscribe and like the video so it can help other developers as well. And check out the new member feature. You get amazing perks for a really low price. To check it out, just press the join button next to the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Again, please subscribe and comment down your command ideas or even your plugin ideas. And I'll see you next time. Bye.